Join us as we have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with the most influential people in Hong Kong. Watch us every Friday on the Hong Kong International Business Channel. This is Friday Beyond Spotlights. With many years of senior executive experience in the financial and bank industry, can you share with us some numbers to help put things in perspective? If you look at um, equity market in Hong Kong, last year we actually raised over 100 billion Hong Kong dollars through IPOs and actually put Hong Kong as number four in the world. 100 billion? 100 billion Hong Kong dollars, which put us as the number four in the world as an IPO center. As we look at the bond market, we rank number one for six consecutive years as the biggest arranging center for international bonds in Asia. And if we look at risk management, looking into insurance density and insurance uh, penetration rate, we rank number two in the world and number one in Asia. Of course, the SN Wealth Management business is a very important business to Hong Kong. Uh, for the latest report, it showed that our AUM reached close to 4.6 trillion US dollars and actually putting Hong Kong as the biggest center by AUM of the SN Wealth Management business. Also, we observe a 48% growth since 2019. That's impressive. If we look at the cross-border wealth center, we rank number two in the world and number one in Asia. Actually, number one in the world is Switzerland. And by the same industry report, they projected that Hong Kong would take over Switzerland at the world's number one offshore wealth management center within a couple of years' time. And of course, Hong Kong as China's international financial center, we are the biggest offshore renminbi center. We actually have around one trillion uh, renminbi in our liquidity pool as offshore renminbi. And also we handle around 75% of offshore renminbi global payments as well. So that put us in the biggest offshore renminbi center in, in the world. Join us on Friday Beyond Spotlights for engaging deep conversations with trailblazers.